There we go. I thought it would be sitting on 2-4. There's my 2-4 mark. I scored it here. So, just need to, the joy to run in that way. I can see where they've gobbed up. So, I just need to uncover that. Find the board. Sand. There we go, <laughs> found my floor level, top of floor, so I'm going to transfer this top to there, transfer it over there, and then I'll be able to measure down, find the cut, I've got 6 inch timbers plus 22 millimetres of floor board, so add all that together and I'll figure it out, best get a pen and paper out. <laughs> double checked our timber is 145 plus 22 millimeters gives us what's that give us one that six seven um, so I've transferred that that's top of floor that's bottom off my joist so that is what I need to build to so for here well I can see it's a block and two briquettes pretty much bedded up uh, and I just need to transfer that all the way around that should just be two blocks then which would be nice. I should really stick to laying bricks, fuck okay. Right, so we have got the floor joists sorted. I come round there to there to there and down, but I didn't take into account the thickness of the pencil, if that makes sense, like the lead's a couple mil, so every time I did it, I was getting higher and higher. So just sorted it out. It's from this little point there, I don't know if you can see, but well, it's just slightly you can see my line, so I'm just, I need to go a couple more mil high, and then it's this first line right there. But, it is, I mean that's so annoying that you can't see it, but uh, if I was lifting my joist up at the right height, it is smack on. And then I've just looked here, it's two blocks, so, What's corner block? What, 15 mil? I mean, 25 mil? Yeah, so two blocks with a nice bed sorted. So we have just loaded that down here, desnotted, just need to flush the back of this wall up, uh, and then we can get this two course on. Right, best crack on, it's getting late on in the day.
Okay, so that first course is on and six foot level is saying spot on. So I'm buzzing about that. Just put the joist from my block, what I've laid there to there, perfectly level. Just a quick note, I've pulled this line super tight. I laid this course here from down there so I could barely get my line tight because I was reaching over. So I've pulled this really tight. It's a good job I have because I've pulled out a load of sag what was in the line previously. So probably got about a 15 mil bed down there. If you don't pull your line tight enough, you even though it's been running with a the line, there will be a little dip in it. So just a little note, always pull your line as tight as possible. We've got these two courses on, pointed both sides, so that's all good. Uh, so all I need to do is a 140 cut and a full block over there, and the same goes for the front. Uh, those wondering why I didn't set a datum up over there from the floor level, the knock through is just a door. 930 knock through right there. So as long as that is perfectly flush with their floor level, if this runs up or down 10, 15 mil, even though it says level with the six foot level, it's not an issue. 10, 15 mil between friends, you know what I mean? So just about to run over this lintel and it's really important. I mean, I'm not gonna tell anyone how to suck eggs, but anyone who is a bit new to bricklaying, when you run over a lintel, especially one like this, you really need to, when you furrow your bed, you really need to pull it well away from the back of the lintel. See how it's really pulled away from the back of the lintel? Otherwise, if it's pushing up here, when you lay your block, it'll just tilt and lean over. Right, let's crack on. Also, when laying over a lintel, don't whack, wobble down, because if you start whacking stuff, it's gonna move everything else along. I used to do it. My old boss used to be mad. I'm not building on top of this today, but because I'm building on the back, I like to put a bit of counter weight on the front so it's don't, don't start cracking back. So just a little bit of weight will help.
insulation. Yeah. Um, Oh, have you? Yeah, well, I mean, we will need some in the future. Um, yeah, you may as well. There's no harm in, if you've got some, there's no harm in having it. Yeah. There we go. So we are done for the day. f is up, ready for George to be able to sit on, which is cool. Just spent the day just insulating jams and having a tiny bit of a tidy up. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back here once the joists are on, do some brickwork, get it up to the next lift. Sand, right. Early day, buzzing. Right, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, subscribe, all that shit. <laughs> See you in a bit.